Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Boyhood Dream. About to go into our 7th league game. We're currently, as you can see, 3rd place in the table. 1 point off the top. We've got quite a tough game. We've got Doncaster Rovers coming up at Ashton Gate. Scunthorpe for anger. This is back from our Scunthorpe game. Before. Doncaster five nil winners over Barnsley, so Doncaster might be a bit of a uh, dark horse. This game we got coming up. See what else we are. England's injured. Oh, Stephen Colker's are injured. So Chris Smalls have brought in a couple of players injured there. My international run up Azam Al Abd. Let's play well for Egypt, but Azam Al Abd is currently out on loan. Crawley nil. Watch down three there. So Watch down taking three points. Let's get some attacking. That's fine. It's been quite interesting last year games. You had obviously that little oh this isn't good. Joe Bryan has sustained a strained wrist after opening servicing him in the wage room. We'll leave it to the physio. There we go. After speaking with Aidan Flint, assistant manager John Pemberton believes he no longer wants to leave the club in order to join more, so they no longer appear to be interested. Well, Flint's done very well for us since that, in actual fact. Uh, Luke Freeman gets in Team of the Week. He's been very good on his penalties, but I think Flint has responded well to that, which is, I'm really happy about that, because that could have had the, with him being captain as well, that could have been interesting. Here we go. Another injury. Bobby Reed strained knee ligaments. Oh, that's not good. England won 5 0 against Estonia. Alex Osley, Chamberlain, Rain Rooney, Raheem Sterling, the bad boy of English football at the moment. Jordan Henderson and Callum Chambers there. Crawley met our possible takeover. And Worcester would like our left back, Scott Bevan, on loan. Okay, he's an academy player, so he'd benefit from some first team football. We'll let him go. As my lab's had another good game for Egypt. Derek Williams has three yellow cards already. I'll speak to him quickly. Don't know if he will play for City, but there we go. God, give him that little bit of hope. Doncaster come into this match. I don't really care about Preston. Doncaster a fifth. Do you expect a good result on Saturday? Oh, I can be quite. If we stick to the game plan, we can play well. We've been playing pretty well so far this season. I can't see it. Um. But knowing that, we'll probably go and get smashed. But there we go. Oh, another injury there. Man United's Robin Van Persie. We're going to miss a game there against Liverpool. That's quite a big game. So here we go then. Ashton Gate, third versus fifth. I'm going to probably will have to make some changes to my team. They got an injury. We got two injuries, one of them. But what I can do is I can bring Cunningham to play in that left back position. Derek Williams can come back on the bench. We're going to have to... Here we've got under 21s. Anyone who can maybe step up? Um, Marley Bishop, for good things about him. Which is the area we're struggling for a player, though. That was centre mid, wasn't it? He's been playing well. Joe Morrell, no. Ben Last. He's got the best average rating. Played similar amount of games. Joe Morrell's not doing too bad. We'll give Joe Morrell a go. On the bench. Uh, do, do, do. Connor 
contract transfer. No, I haven't played much football in the chair, as you can tell. That's what I want. I want to move them to the senior squad. Right. Um, go back to the senior squad now. Put Morel on the bench. Happy days. Right, Morel's going to be given a squad number. That's fine. Give him... I'll give him 30 for now. Bit random, I know. I don't even think Morel... He might not even get to play, but... It's better to have him in the position where he can come off the bench just in case. We need someone to come off the bench on that centre midfield position. So, team there, got Frank Field in guard. We've got Cunningham at left back. Carly Osborne, Aiden Flint. Luke Ayling. Lig Freeman, Marlon Pack, Wade Elliott, Scott Wagstaff with Kieran Agard and Wilbraham up front. Our substitutes are Dave Richards, the goalkeeper. Mark Little, Corey Smith, Derek Williams, James Tavernier, Joe Morrell. And Jordi Huula. So Marley Bush, it might be an option. Let's see if I've got any people record. We've got Theo Robertson up front. We've got Dean Furman. Jamie McComb, former Bristol City player. They've got Lloyd Doyley and Richie Wellens. James Coppinger as well. So they have got some uh, pretty interesting. So that team talk doesn't seem to go too well. Now, I remember in the last episode, I went a bit into radio commentator mode, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why, that's not what I intended to do, but... Go into normal, a boyhood dream mode here, so... Just coming up to about 10 minutes. Still at 0-0. Oh, good boy there for Wilbur Freeman on the left. Oh, it's going to be there. Agard. Yes, Kieran Agard. What a start. What a start that is. Good goal, Kieran. Up to top of the league. We are top of the league. Say we are top of the league. Good ball in there from Freeman. Agard made a good run as well. Left his marker standing in between two others. That's a good goal. That is a good goal. Elliot, that's Aiden. Oh, down the right-hand side now. Go on, another one for Aegon. No, just over the bar. Kieran Agard trying to take over from where uh, J. Manuel Thomas started before he got injured. Jet's still our top scorer. It's like he's been out for a while. Oh, it's not good for us. Oh, good block there. Put Doncaster maybe going to uh, have a chance. They have got a chance there, but Coppinger could have done that well with it. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what happens here first. Wilbraham, oh, go on, Elliot, have a shot. Oh, blocked. That that opened up nicely there for Elliot. I thought even if he has a shot, he might have a decent chance there. Yeah. Go on, Wagstaff. Oh, Wilbraham blocked. They are defending quite well, but there's Agard. Never block. They are definitely throwing themselves at the ball. That's a big corner. I'm going to try and retain possession a bit more. Go on. Flint up there. Hut. Or oh, Doyley's been out. He's at Watford, Doyley. Vincente. Don't know much about Vincente, but he's doing pretty well until he was just possessed. Elliot. Pat oh, at left again. Cunningham, he scored a couple of goals this season. In for Freeman. Now we saw what happened with Freeman on the ball. Last time it's the same sort of ball. Oh. Oh, Wilbraham, go on. Oh, go on, shoot, Freeman. Oh. We're having chances, although this is a chance for Doncaster. Not one all game, hardly, and that isn't too special. Um, 
them to do. I think they're pretty much good at the moment, to be honest. I'm not going to mess around with things too much. Playing how I'd like us to play. Oh, go on. Oh, Wagstaff. Oh, yes. Oh. Shot got away. <laughs> More than some of them have done so far. Oh. Just before half time, this won't be a good time if we can let, if we concede now. I think I see Sierra Robinson on the ball. Yeah, it is Sierra Robinson. He's got some pace to burn. Oh, well done, Aiden Flint. Great, that's one way to stop him. Oh, boom, boom, McCoon. Oh, Robinson. That's a good ball for McCoon, but Robinson's not been able to finish that. There we go, half time. So at the moment we are one nil up. He's been performing 7.0. Kieran Agar. At the moment, it's not too many high ratings, but I think we're just plodding along really, which is, I guess, okay at the moment. Players who may be coming off, Wade Elliott struggling a little bit. So might have to bring Corey Smith on in the second half. We'll have to monitor that a little bit. Marlon Pax also doing quite a bit of hard work out there at the moment. But other than that, pretty happy with the way things went in the first half. So the only thing I want to try and do is this Robinson. He's getting a bit, Theo Robinson is definitely a bit of a, a bit of a danger. Oh, Kieran Agar, go on, Kieran. That's it. Use in play or oh. foul that. That's a free kick. Thank you very much. Oh, well in Carly Osborne. Fantastic there. Gets a foot in, clears the danger away, but the best of balls out. Oh, Agar's just nicked it off his toe. Wilbraham's the space. Oh, oh what's, that's an inverted ball for Rob. Oh, good save, Frankie. Definitely McCoon meant that. I think he just meant to clear it, but Robinson ran on to the end of it. Phil did well, though, to keep us in it at the moment. Elliot, have some of that. Have it. Straight out of play for throwing. In this second half, Don Castro already having a little bit more than he did in the first. Yellow card there for Cunningham. Might have to have a look at the situation with the, 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 mid, the, mid, yeah, the midfielders in a minute. Go set the mid, see what's going on there. Freeman's doing pretty well though, keeping the ball down the line. Now, oh, good ball to Agard! 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 Oh, and again, rebound! Yes, Wilbraham in the right place at the right time. Kieran Agar couldn't finish it, so Wilbraham gets his fifth of the season. That makes me feel a little bit better now. 2 0 up. That is good, though. Freeman did well down that left hand side. Agard was a tight angle, but Wilbraham just like, you can't finish it, I'm going to finish it. Well, oh, Keeper might be dis disappointed, though. Went through his legs. But Wilbraham's on five goals now, same as J. Emmanuel Thomas was before he went injured. Don't really want to go five at the back at home on the 2-0 up. I think Wade Elliott is going to have a little bit of a break though. I'm going to bring on Corey Smith to replace him. that good from three kicks at the moment. Flint. That's Corey Smith was a substitute. Wilbraham. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Agar a bit of a break, you know. Bring on Jordi Huruda. I wanna see Jordi Huruda get a goal at some point really. I think if you can get one goal it might give him a bit of confidence. Oh we're shot from Cunningham Forced to save with Freeman hit the post. What's a corner? Whipped in. Oh, we have scored headers from corners. 
Maybe a strong throw by Amber O'Reilly. Freeman plays well on that left hand side. Play him left hand side, play him centre mid. It's still part of a good game, which is really good. A couple of substitutions, well, a substitution at least there for Doncaster. Maybe, yeah, that was a little bit close to the goal there from Free Freeman. Marlon Pack's apparently looking exhausted. Not long left to go now. End to the area, headed away. Oh, heading back in for Smith. Oh, go on, Harula. Oh, Jordy Harula. Have a shot. Oh. Oh, it's a free kick there. I don't know what I can do to help with Jordy. He just doesn't seem to be able to score. That was a pretty good chance there for Jordy. Oh, he's on line for Man City. Go on, Freeman. Block. Doncaster have had a fair few blocks in this game, though. I will say that. Got a game against Port Vale on Tuesday night as well. We've got quite a quick succession of the game Saturday, Tuesday. Oh, there's a chance Doncaster. Oh! How they not scored, but they will with a the rebound. Surely just a consolation there from Harry Forrester, but there goes Frank Fielding's clean sheet. See what happened. Vicente got the ball in. Butler, first time. That was unlucky. No one could react quick enough though to stop Forrester from tapping in, but hopefully now in the first minute of stoppage time, that is just a consolation goal. Got about 50 seconds to go. Don't really want to be giving them too many. Uh, don't want to be giving them possession of the ball. That's not what we're going to be doing at this stage of the game. Come on. 20 seconds to go. Doncaster doesn't seem to be in too much of a rush to. You think they want to get that ball quick and push for the uh, equalising goal? Go on, Frankie. That's your ball. That's it. Heads up. I don't know what to say about this Jordi Harula, you know. It is getting a little bit. Played him quite a few games. There we go. That's all that matters, though. We get the win. Standout performers are 7.7 7 for Agard. I think he got player of the match as well. I'm on 7.7. 7. You got uh, Osborne. He's didn't know how come in. 7.2. Wilbraham's on a 7.1. Worst performing players. Marlon Pack with a 6.3. Jordi Haruda, 6.6. .6. He didn't really impress me much, to be honest. But there we go. I think that was a, uh, a good win, actually. That was a good win. Could have been a tricky game. Yep, Kieran Agard got player of the match as well. For that one. So I'll look at the scores. Barnes and Neil, MK Dons 1. Bradford Neil, Swindon Neil. And our victory against Doncaster actually puts us top of the league. So we are top of the league. Which is good. Chesterfield 2, Scunthorpe 1, Coventry 1, Yeovil 2, Crawley 0, Fleetwood 0. We saw Crawley might be coming under a, a board takeover. Crew 3, Port Vale 0. Late Norway at 5, Colchester 2. Oldham lost 2 1 there to Gillingham. They were they were quite high up in their top of the table before this game. And Peterborough bottom of the table at 1 1, Jordan Knox County. Sheffield United 0, Rochdale 1. And Walsall 1, Preston 0. Some quite surprising results there, I think you'll find. Uh, We'll do the post-match razzmatazz, and then that'll be the end of the episode 10. So, we've lost 4-2 to the Swansea under-18s. Yeah, that's a summary of the game. 50-50 possession, but we just had more shots. Got a loan offer there. As well, except that one. But for now, that is episode 10 of Boyhood Dream. Thank you for watching. If you're liking this content, give it a like, subscribe. And I'll see you next time when we play Port Vale at Vale Park.